Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a slightly different video for you guys as you can already see from the viewpoint that we're starting from. One of you guys, if I'm correct, it was Nat, um, asked me to film when I would repress my silver eyeshadow. When I'm filming this, we're about to go traveling only a few more days, so I decided it was about time for me to put the silver in the glamour to go palette. So I've got my stuff laid out here, um, all the things that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be repressing some other things as well. So of course we've got the Too Faced uh, Enchanted Glamourland palette and the Too Faced glamour to go palette, um, which I will be pressing one into the other. I also have my uh, Suva pigment here because FTC MUA, <laughs> sorry I don't know your real name, um, suggested that I could mix it in with the silver a little bit as well. So what I'm going to try and do is repress half of the silver in one pan and then the silver with a little bit of that Zuva pigment in another one. I'm also going to be repressing some of the elf blush that I'm working on in uh, the Too Faced Glamour to Go palette as well. And what I'm using for that is this um, hand sanitizing gel. I know that's a bit different from what most people do, but I find it really hard to find like the proper type of alcohol that you would use for repressing here in Ireland. Might be me. Um, <laughs> But I know that like a hand sanitizer has loads of alcohol. This one is not like scented or anything, so it works quite well. Although my products end up a little bit harder than maybe I'd like them to be, but at least they're stuck in the pan. So when I'm repressing, I always use either my um, tweezers or the back of a spoon to get everything going. Now, because I'm gonna cut the U and A silver shade in half, I've decided to start with the tweezers just because it's a little bit easier because it's really small on the side here to cut it through the middle so let's start there so i'm cutting up one side of it right now for as far as that goes the way i want it to and then i'm taking a piece of paper let's take the tweezers to the side i'm just gonna throw it all on there so I can just fold that paper through the middle and slide the eyeshadow into my Too Faced palette so let's see how that goes okay so that is all in there um, it looks like it's a bit much but of course we're gonna press on it which will make it a little bit smaller I'm just kind of trying to Get rid of the bigger chunks in here now. Get this one back in as well. Come on. Yep. And then it's time to actually start a repressing process. So I'm taking the hand sanitizer and I'm putting a little bit on top. Just a little drop that I'm going to be working with. And then I'm going to be just basically blending, or however you want to call it, the eyeshadow with that little drop. Like the first part will always be a little bit messy because some of it is still powder and some of it is now wet. Um, which I guess is nothing different than when you're trying to bake cookies or a cake or something and you're trying to combine the wet and the dry ingredients. So yeah, just look at this as... Uh, if you're making cookies, just different. <laughs> and it will always be a bit messy, sadly enough. Some of it is falling next to it now I see as well. So I think we've got most of the product kind of in the pan and uh, wet enough now. So I'm gonna go, so I'm now gonna go in with a, a piece of paper towel and I'm gonna be pressing on top of the shadow. Now I've realized, like I said before, that with the hand sanitizer it comes a little bit harder than I expected it to. So I'm not going to press it down too hard because I still want it to be easy enough to use. Um, like before when I was using like a more liquid formula because I had a liquid hand sanitizer. Well this is more of a gel. Um, before I've used to like press it down completely with um, another object, but I've noticed that when I'm using just this hand sanitizer, the gel version of a hand sanitizer, 
I don't really need that so I'm just gonna take a quick look see what it looks like it is a bit messy and like the sad thing is that you will be losing a bit of product when you're doing this just because well you, you can't do it perfect like we're not machines so this will happen but basically now that I've kind of pressed it on a few times kind of moving the piece of paper to make sure that some of the like wetness is soaking into that paper towel as well that's basically the silver repressed now, of course it needs some drying time as well so it will get better and there's tiny chunks next to it that I'm just gonna kind of shove on top of it and uh, use still but yeah this is how I repress my silver eyeshadow and now on to the more interesting part also for me I'm gonna try and repress the Zuva and the silver together and I have never actually frankened as we call that uh, anything before so let's see how this goes um, I'm trying to decide what makes most sense. So I'm going to start again with just breaking down all that's left in the silver right here. And because I've got some more space to actually press things down now, I can kind of make the bigger crumbs smaller in here already, which is kind of nice. It always looks like a lot more product when you break it up in comparison to before. But yeah. Okay, so also this one, I'm sliding onto that piece of paper again, making sure everything comes out, which it doesn't do. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit left in there, but also that I can just use from that pen still, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I do have a lot less, like, bigger chunks on this one, so I'm just going to, once again, slide this into the palette right here. I'm just gonna go next to the one where I repressed the other. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, like I said, sometimes this can be messy. That was not supposed to go into the pan right next to it. Now it looks like I've got quite a bit of product already, so I think I'm just gonna go and try and mix this up first. So putting in a little bit of, oh God, <laughs> that's a bit more than I wanted. Anyway, I'm putting in the hand sanitizer again, just mixing things up. You know, as much as like maybe some of us have done this a few times before, like I, I may have done this like three or four times before, so not a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I'm not a professional at this, like I said, we're not machines, so this is uh, messy. But well, it's uh, fun as well, I guess. <laughs> there as well putting it all in here okay now for the interesting part I'm gonna throw some of this Zuva pigment on there as well I already have a bit that kind of went to the top so I'm just gonna throw that on there and then we'll see what happens I'm just mixing this into that silver I have never done this before so I have no idea what the result of this is going to be, but it's an interesting experiment nonetheless. Okay, so clearly not the most uh, neat thing to be doing, but this is the final result. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I've got the actual silver here. And the silver that I mixed in with the Zuva pigment uh, right next to it. I'm not sure. This is my first time. Like I said, I'm frankening something. It, the other silver looks a little bit more taupey. So I hope in on my eyes it will turn out a little bit more taupey as well. Um, I created a good bit of mess kind of around the product as well as you can see. But yeah, that is it. I'm still going to repress the blush as well. But that process is pretty much the same as the silver. So um, I think I'm going to leave it with this. I hope this was helpful for you guys and it was nice that I guess kind of try my first Franken together with you. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!